a little easier. Okay, now that we have a candidate registered for this session, um, we can actually see that they have registered um, the candidate named Ham Radio. So we're going to go into our manage session, and this is as if we're starting this exam. We're going to click on this session here and then go up to the state and set this to in progress. So that means that we've actually started this exam and we're ready to actually have uh, volunteer examiners help out with this session. So now if I go to current sessions, you should see that this session is now listed as in progress. And in here, this will allow me to now add uh, volunteer examiners that will be helping with this session. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to add uh, two of our VEs that are helping out. So Sarah and Jeremy. And then have myself in there as well. Or Chris, who I'm modeling as. And this will add these volunteer examiners to the session. You can see here that um, Chris, as the owner of the session, is the one who is uh, taking control here. Um, and then others can be changed in a different access level. So you can change a volunteer examiner to have the admin rights or team lead um, permission levels. This allows them to do more during the session. But for now, we'll just leave it like this um, and show you what this looks like for the session. Okay, so if we go into both uh, Sarah and Jeremy's current session list, you'll see that they now also have this demonstration session set up. So they can click into this session. So this is Sarah's window. You can see it labeled right here. And this one is Jeremy's. They can click into the session and see uh, the volunteer examiners that are in the session. And they can also see the applicant that's uh, listed in this session. Uh, what Jeremy can do here is he can add himself as a volunteer examiner for this applicant. So let me just show you what that looks like real quick. So Jeremy can click here and it says no VEs assigned his applicant and he can assign himself here as a volunteer examiner to this applicant. And now you can see that Jeremy is listed as one of the volunteer examiners that will be overseeing this candidate's exam. Uh, volunteer examiners with just the VE permission cannot add other VEs, but the session uh, lead and the owner of the session can make those changes. So if I'm behaving here as Chris, as the session lead, I can go ahead and assign um, himself and uh, Sarah to this session as well, to this candidate as well, um, which will now show this candidate as having three volunteer examiners uh, assigned to them. So now that this candidate has three volunteer examiners assigned to them and all the VEs are logged in so they can see the progress, I can now as the candidate log into this session. So I can go into, uh, I'll need to go to the exam tools website. And here's the candidate, I will now take the exam. So when I join the exam session, very similar to the old exam tools, enter in the call sign of the uh, CVE that's running the session and the candidate pin. And this will allow the candidate to now enter this session. So when the candidate requests to join the session, you'll see that the volunteer examiner screens have now changed to, to deal with this request to join a session, right? So in this case, any one of these volunteer examiners can do this, but I'm going to go ahead and simplify the screens and just show uh, two, of the, uh, two of these screens to make it a little bit easier uh, for what you're seeing. So on the left here, we'll have a volunteer examiner and the right is the candidate screen. So in this case, the volunteer examiner can now authenticate this candidate to join the session. Now for in-person sessions, if you're actually at the computer, you could log in and do this on the actual candidate's computer. But in this case, we'll be demonstrating with a remote exam session where the volunteer examiner has this left screen on their computer running. So they can see this candidate. Um, they would have them on the video conferencing system and could verify their ID and make sure that this matches their information and then approve them to join the session. So at this point, the candidate is now brought into the session, and this is the screen that the candidate will see. So they'll see their personal information and then the ability to start the exam that they had registered for. So if I start taking this exam, um, when you start the exam, you need an authorization, very similar to the old system. So again, you can see that this changed to a red icon, meaning that there's some action that needs to happen for this candidate. So you can click on that and again, authorize the exam to start. So to start the element two exam, you could, this is where you would check the room, make sure that all the environment is correct and that there are no issues before they actually start taking the exam. So you can click approve here, and then this will actually start the exam for the candidate. 
And this is very similar to the format that you've seen before. It's now updated with a nice graphics for uh, version two. Now that you can see this candidate is partway through the exam, you'll notice that on the VE side of the screen here, there's this nice blue progress bar that shows the candidate's progression through the exam. And it also shows the exam element that's in progress with the number of questions that they've answered so far. So at this point, you'll notice the candidate has skipped one of the questions. So they can actually just click on this icon, which brings them back to the question that they have skipped. So in this case, they could now select one of their answers here, and then it'll go to the last question, which they need to answer. And then that'll give them the option to grade the exam. So once the candidate's completed here, you'll notice the progress bar on the volunteer examiner screen has gone to max, and the candidate can click grade exam. At this point, again, if you're at an in-person exam, the volunteer examiner could authorize here in person on their computer. But in this case, we're going to be demonstrating a fully remote exam. And you'll see again this red icon that now shows there is an, a pending action for this examinee. So clicking on this, um, we'll enter here. And this would be the uh, VE that is running, that is logged in from this computer. And you'll see that the candidate did pass this exam, right? So it changes to green here on the screen, showing that they have passed. And the detailed page will show you the element uh, score and the element that they took. And for the candidate, now they have the option to start the next exam class, if that's an option for that exam team, or to finish and sign the forms. So for this one, we'll go ahead and finish and sign the forms and show that flow. And this will request the candidate to confirm since at this point, they will no longer be able to take uh, an additional exam element. So this brings the candidate to this screen where they have the opportunity to verify their information again and also review their actual 605 form. So this is the exam portion, examinee portion of the 605 form where they can confirm that all of these are correct. And the uh, CSCE that they can also review and ensure that that matches their expectations. So this will show the draft version of the uh, certificate of successful completion of exam um, and ensure that the information entered here matches that candidate's information correctly. Once this is all done, the candidate can actually sign here. If they're using a tablet computer, this can be a very nice, pretty signature. Um, and then actually sign documents. This will finish them in the session. And at this point, when they hit finish session here, the candidate will be completed and they're no longer um, an active candidate in the session. So you'll see here um, the candidate's exam is complete and it now shows again a red icon showing that there's a pending action for the volunteer examiners and this gives them the option to actually go in and sign um, for this candidate. So we're going to go ahead and walk through that process right now. Okay so at this point we have the candidate completed in the session and you'll see that there's this pending action now for all three volunteer examiners that were assigned to this candidate. At this point, they can go in and actually do their signatures. So first I'll start here, and this is on Chris's window, and he can review the applicant's forms. Again, these will be the same forms that were generated and shown to the candidate. Uh, in this case, it'll show the lower portions as well, which are for the volunteer examiner team. So it shows the exam session for remote sessions, it'll be an undefined session location, um, and then the actual CSCE as well. So here you can use the saved signature that's in here, or you can draw a new signature depending on what you'd like to do. So in this case, we'll use the save signature for Chris and he will sign. And you'll see now that this has turned to number one, showing that one of the signatures is complete and the other two VEs have not yet. Now these volunteer examiners do have the option to sign from someone else's computer, or they can do it from their own computer if they're in a fully remote environment. So for an in-person exam, you might have one computer that you can have all your VEs go sign at, in which case, Jeremy could go here and actually sign on this computer. So he would enter his password on this screen and use, uh, so since he's not logged in on this one, we'd have to do a new signature here. So Jeremy would sign this one and then sign from this computer. So you can see now this is up to two on all the screens. Now, if Sarah's gonna sign from her actual screen, she'll click here as well 
and go to sign. And in this case, uh, she'll be able to uh, use this. and then sign here. At this point, you can see this candidate has now been fully signed for. So as the volunteer examiner lead, I can see that my three VEs have signed for this. Um, I can actually sit here and review the forms as well. So in this case, I can see all the forms that were created, which is the 605 and um, the actual CSCE. And you'll see their actual signatures here, including um, the digital signature verification. So this will give um, the VE team all the information they need uh, just to verify that these forms are correct. Um, at this point, the CSC is no longer in draft form, but you'll see again the call sign and the signatures of each of those volunteer examiners is now on this CSC. So if we go back to the main session here, uh, this candidate is complete. The session is complete at this point, so we can go ahead and finalize examinee, and this will actually um, close out uh, this candidate in the session. Um, and and make sure that's all good.